let's go. Time for us to have our final episode in Kaled. I think. I may change my mind by the end of this one. But um, for now, we've got two caves. Oh, and some runes to, runes to use. I almost forgot. Can't you tell I've slept since last time? Hopefully you guys are still okay. Let me know how you're doing. <laughs> I literally had somebody say, how are you managing with such little vitality? And I do not know. Not vitality, but vigor. Uh, it has been uh, it has been a ride. Also, people asking why I have so much endurance. Uh, it's so I can actually have a, uh, <laughs> a full set of clothing on without being in medium roll because I set myself the goal of always being in light um, roll mode for the sake of being a squishy mage. Um... Not necessarily like, over well, it has actually made the game more challenging for me, um, but it was just to kind of ensure that we are fitting the trope of pure mage and prevents me running around as a spell sword or in like tons of heavy armor or anything like this. So as you can see, we are heading pretty much south. I can't pull the map up because of all these slimes that we have around, um, but you can see if we just kind of head on over the rockage, we'll come across a set of graves. This is going to give you guys some extra runes to use later on. That's not a problem for y'all. And then we're going to want to come down, I think it's, yeah, we're pretty close, it's going to come here, and then here. And now we have a cave. I can't remember what this cave is called. Gale Tunnel, there we go. So in here we should find Alexander near the end. Um, this is going to pr uh, progress his quest line. I'm not going to be able to get to you for a backstab, that's such a shame. Can, however, explode you like that. Backstab! <laughs> Stealth mage! Stealth is allowed, right? <laughs> Has to be. Has to be a sneaky, dishonest mage. With a thirst for power. Right, anyway. In we go. Enough talking gibberish, Joe. We want to get through this cave. Right, I'm gonna jump over here. Sombering stone too. That means this shouldn't really be a high level cave. Oh my god, I can't believe we made that. Let's jump off here. Uh, this is actually, and for one individual scene, one of my favourite caves in the game. And I'm going to show you guys why, if you haven't seen it before. Um, just because this is peak um, storytelling, in my opinion. Or should I say environmental storytelling. I'm going to show you guys why when we get down here. Um, and just something I wish we saw more of. Not only in this game, but in any game. Um, so, the bit that I like so much, you're going to aggro on me, not straight away, I'm going to strike first, ha ha, oh no, he's coming, down, um, and it is that bit right there, where we see, um, the knights are poised and kind of holding off the creatures from the other part of the cave, don't ask me why, I'm obsessed, I just love that bit, um, that is how I think every game should present itself from now on, um, just really cool how it's like almost a show of um, the creatures here are not on the side of the soldiers um, and so you know even though they're included in the same dungeon they, they kind of are at odds with each other and I just kind of like that uh, when we are damaged we should switch to blessed dew have big mama where are you we have to deal with you first aren't I Okay, we can deal with these. One bombage. Oh, come on. Can I reach you from here? I can now. Ooh. Well, isn't that a treat? Always take issue with not be able to reach, like, lock onto them before they drop off. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Oh, I need to take a flask. If we use rocks there, that probably would have gone way better. Come on. There we go, that'll do. Crit time. That's what we're good at. I'll have you know. Smithing stones, baby. Uh, many upgrades coming our way when we get to the... Um, ruin strewn precipice, by the way. I believe we should get some more smithing stone fours and fives. I think actually that four helps me a lot. Helps me out a lot. Yeah, I need six of those to get to plus 12, right? Because we're on plus 11, yes. The moment we get enough of those, we're able to get this uh, sword up by two levels, which is going to increase 
our crit damage. What are you? What are you? That's a four. Excellent. One more. Okay, so we'll continue exploring around our cave here. This is going to be perfect for me. Right. Your turn. Are they going to aggro as a group? Yes. We should have arced them. Never mind. I was hoping to get away with it. It's fine though. What else we got? Mage is owning in here. Usually everything's so tight we can't actually get around, but I've got so many like angles to attack from. Something's coming from the side. I'm gonna finish this guy there. Dushk. Where are you? I'm sure I heard somebody aggroing. Yeah, I heard something. What are you doing? Oh, you're distracted by loot. Okay, okay, you're fine. You can stay there. That's another stone fort. Yes, that's exactly what I needed, right? Excellent. Cool. I'm not bothered about no cuckoo stones. You can keep those. Hello, soldier boy. Come here. No. Please tell me that doesn't aggro the... Uh... It does. Oh my god. It was going so well. Oh. Did you have to? We were so close to full health again. Oh man, you got like cluster bombs. Don't you know those are illegal? <laughs> Smithing stone four. Oh, that was a drop as well. Very nice. I mean, our crit damage is doing enough in here already, but still, it's nice to have all these stone fours dropping now. Very good. Uh, dun 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 dun. Did I see another bit of loot? Did I see something drop somewhere? No, nah, we're good. Okay. Got the Naginata, that's good. The main prize here, though, is still to come. Particularly for those that aren't following my build precisely. If you have extra strength and dex, you're about to come across what is likely to be your favourite weapon for a long time. Um, I ended up falling out with it because... I don't know. I didn't really like it very much. <laughs> it is a really strong weapon. Um, I'm aware it's frowned upon. By many, I don't really care. I'm very much a, a the kind of person that's like use what's best. Don't uh, don't listen to anyone that says e you can't use this weapon. It is too good. That's that's ridiculous. Um, I don't know anybody that avoids using the best materia in Final Fantasy VII or the best summons in Final Fantasy VIII. Such ways of regarding things is stupid. In the case we get down here for a grace, and we should see our friend. Where are you? Where are you? I'm sure I'm sure supposed to see him right now. Maybe he's already moved on because we went to Altus. Strong potential of that being the case because he's definitely moved on from from over here. Yeah, so he's probably going to be at Radan's place. Okay, never mind. We missed out on some interactions, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah, we're miles away from a level. Let's rest up. And then we're going in for the Magma Worm. Which is actually the same boss that we're going to have to face to get up to Altus through the uh, Rune Stream Precipice, which is funny. So we switch to power up, like so. Physics is already sorted. Lutal is right there. We are ready. Um, this one is harder than the Rune Stream Precipice one. It does do more damage. Weirdly enough, even though we can access it real early. Should have popped my physic already. I forgot to do that because I'm a fool. Let's get out of your way. No, I'm stuck. That's real bad. Yeah, you had to be there, sir, didn't you? Lootle's having fun, though. It's fine. Give me that. I'm going to pop that. All right, here we go. Time to enter the fray. Here I come to wreck your day. Oh my god, I'm out of FP. It's coming for me! No! Damn it. This time that completely. Little does not have long left because we are fudging up here so badly. Right, come on. Out the way. Out there we go. We'll do that. Come here. How's my crit damage doing? Poke you in the eye! Fire everything! 
Get out the way of that. Get out the way of that. FP required. That's coming again. Excuse me. Do you have to be so obnoxious? And we're good. Eh, 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 eh. Boom! This boy is the Moon Veil. Uh, so for the modest investment of six points of dex and four points of strength, that's ten levels, technically speaking, you can have access to uh, a very, very strong weapon. We will not be using it though, so that's up to you guys if you want to or not. Uh, we don't need to go out the other entrance, I don't think. I don't think there's anything there that I care about. No, there's like a cave, it brings you out kind of here-ish, but there's not really any loot. It's particularly notable that I can think of. So, we're going to go for the second cave of the episode, which is going to be the Celia Crystal Tunnel. Uh, two ways to get here. We are going to go from the actual, um, where are we, Celia Understair, just there. If, for whatever reason, you're just tuning in and you want another way to get over here quickly because you haven't been to Kaelin yet, um, there is a chest in, I believe, this building right here, up in the uh, Dragon Burnt Ruins. It's kind of like a trap chest. Go ahead and open it, it'll teleport you to where we're going now anyways. Um, for me personally though, we're coming this way because there should be... So we're going to want carrying greatsword here. There should be, yes, Ash of War that we want to grab. It's not exactly amazing for me, but... Excuse me. Excuse me. Can we actually catch up with it or not? I don't know if we can. Can't tell if it's faster than me or not. Oh, we're about the same speed. That's interesting. Come on. Never actually tried catching up with one before. It's clearly better to just stay in its path somewhere. <laughs> right, okay, I'm just going to wait here for it to come back around. Because this is just getting stupid. Give me a second. I think it's coming, I think it's coming. Yes. What is an armament? Onward with our task. I can't bring the map up because we're in, technically in combat with these big um, egg things. But um, it really shouldn't be difficult for you to kind of see where we are. The grace was literally just over there. That's the cave we're going to. It was kind of a little bit south. Just fine. Here we are in Celia Crystal Tunnel. And I suppose, being as we killed something, we should probably use those runes up and upgrade the rapier whilst we're at it. That's going to be a good idea. I'm still playing risky and powering up intelligence right now because it's funny. And it makes me laugh that I die in like two hits. Back to the round table. Hold! Oh, I can't do it from here. We're going to have to step outside. I wonder if that's because the, the cave is considered a trap. Right, so to the round table hold for some upgrades. I know y'all don't need to see everything, but I find it safer to have it in here because then nobody can go, you did a thing off screen and uh, now I don't believe you did. I was like, oh, come on. <coughs> I'm sure somebody's laughing, but it happens. Trust me. Strength and armament, yeah. Oh, it's cheap as well. How uncommonly kind of you. Okay, let's go. So my rapier damage right now is even better. There's an important item in here, and I can't remember what it is. It's faith related. But I can't remember. Hmm. I can't believe how low my health pool is. It's hilarious. I can't believe how big my stamina pool is. It's the biggest bar. I need to get my FP up. Right. Where are you? I know it's going to stand up. Come on. Come on. I knew you're coming. Now that I got increased range, I'm like mega happy about um, being able to reach a lot of these enemies. Come on. There's a dude on top of here. It's going to stay. There you are. I knew you were coming. I knew. It's fine. Damn it. Heh <laughs> I kick your ass. Lots of lots more upgrade stones. That's what we need. We don't need to worry about these dudes with the big thing in my flute. Oh, stone fives. Yes, this is going to be an even better haul. I completely forgot that's what we're going to be getting here. That's two. If we reach four, that's the rapier up again. 
El Rapier. Right. Oops. Yeah, we should really be making a move. Oh, that's what I get for uh, posturing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Way too much debris around here. How am I supposed to effectively evade? Can I hit upwards enough for you with something like this? Like, maybe. Where are you? No, I can't. What about, what about, what about? We tried this before, right? This can work. This can work. Oh, and I got eight too. <laughs> come here, come here. Where you going? Where you going? Yeah, you stay, you stay there. Go on, you stay there. We're going to try. Ha ha ha. El Chizo. You know what, while I'm doing this. Oops. Happy with that. Oh. I shouldn't be. Pe people hate it when I do stuff like that. But uh, I love it. Right. But you're not engaging with the challenge, they say. That is not the point of a walkthrough. In any case, um, you are next. Can I get you? Do you get me? Yeah. Oh, it survived. <laughs> that bothers me that I survived. We clearly need more intelligence. The next point is definitely not going into health. <laughs> as crazy as that may be. Um, so that pretty much clears this first area. We're not going to drop down there. We missed an upgrade stone because I got disturbed, didn't I? Let's drink some FP. Come here. Hello, sir. You're standing over the thing I want. That is unfortunate for you. Down here. Oh, give me that. We have a lovely, lovely stone fight. Oi, excuse me. Thank you. You guys are all just moaning, uh, mining the cuckoo glintstone stuff. I don't need any of that. There's any more around this way that I missed. No. Okay, good. So next then, I believe, if I remember rightly, I want to go this way. And then this way. Uh, you can get onto that, either this way or from there. I'm not going to waste any time if we don't happen to make the jump, because it is just the glintstone stuff the guys are mining. Um, it's really not worth worrying about. So if you guys like a 100%, you know, you can spend some time getting that if you, if you really want it. But I am not um, about to waste time on it, so... That's up to you guys. Excuse me, sir. I need you to go down. We don't want issues, do we? Surely we don't want issues. There we go. Smithing stone 5 again. How many have we gotten? 10 would be a lovely number. Is it 5s? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's 5s we're getting, isn't it? 5s. 5s, yeah. Uh, yeah, 10 would be a good number because we're already up to plus thingy. 13, yeah. 2 more would be 10. So 4 more. 4 more would be great, please. Which actually means you should probably complete this after Ruins Dream Precipice. Like, if you were if you're gonna base the order in which you do things on when you get the upgrade stones, this comes after the Ruins Dream Precipice because that area is um, the stones that got us to plus twelve, not thirteen. Which is interesting to think that. Um, like, you get all the way through Lyurnia, and the stones that you get dropped in Kaled are about even with the stones you get dropped here, right at the very beginning of Walter. So I guess, like, either or of the two areas probably come into being at the same time. But the, kind of, the, the path that maybe you expected to go in, I think, anyway, is, like, directly north. Hello. I killed your friend. Oh, is that two more? Please both be fives, that'd be amazing. Yeah, two more left. I just need two more. If I end up just having those two, I may even have to Google to get two extras. Oh, this, this episode's going to go over over time now, isn't it? Because I've been faffing. So sorry. Uh, so we've got that ladder there. Yes. There's one we dropped down. Where's the one we dropped down? It's kind of embarrassing. I'm sure there's some people like that have been around the channel. and They're like, Joe, you've done walkthrough for everything probably like twice now. And you don't know where everything in the game is off by heart. Yes, the game's that big. Knock that down. Hello, you. I want to see my backstab damage. Oh, I missed. Find them. 
That's really good. Looking forward to a Dooley's Moonblade. That's going to be even better. But then again, maybe I'll avoid ice, because then I won't feel like I have to wear the frost hat. And that kind of dictates the um, clothing you can wear. Mm. We'll think about that. Okay, so here's the faith item. I can't remember what it is. We're going to get there, but before you go left, uh, right, should I say, there's a dude on the left we need to deal with. Can we get you through here? Aww. It's going to insta aggro, and that always bothers me. Can I, like. Ha 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 ha! Nope! Aww. Oh, damn it. He's got insta button hit as well, uh, button senses as well. Also bothers me. I'm fast aggressive enemies like these as well. It's just a pain. Give me that. Lots of good stones in here. It's real good. Uh, ooh, I wonder if we can like sneak up and be like, hey. Interesting. That did the red along with the blue out of the same flask. I feel like this glitch, that's definitely going to get uh, fixed at some point, right? <laughs> Been as the casting one did. Right, I want to see. Can we sneak up and just do like. Double kill. Great sword of the carrion kind. Ah, not quite. Yeah, we did. <laughs> there we go. Faithful's cannabis talisman. Boom. That's basically the faith version of the graven mass talisman we have. That made me happy. Oh man, we're just under what I wanted, upgrade stone wise. Very slightly. It's such a shame. Eight. We need two more. Anyway, let's deal with this, deal with this boss. I didn't pop my physic, as always. Uh, this fight is probably going to feel very similar to the, uh, the one we've already done in this episode. I need to get out of the way, so it's going to charge me, let's eat that. Tap that. Oh man, really? I didn't even do anything to you. Right, well, punishment's coming now. Have fun. Yeah, little has got you over there. Oh, you just did a... come here. Smart, that's some good, good crit damage. <laughs> <laughs> More incoming though. We can upgrade the rapier again now. Oh no, I'm gonna die. That's me dead. That's gotta be me dead. No, I didn't. I didn't die. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how I'm alive. No, no, step out of the way. I gotta step out of the way. Stop that. I need something quicker because it's going to kill me otherwise. There we go. That was so close. I feel like I didn't deserve that. <laughs> I thought the grab was going to get me real bad. Oh, we've got Spithing Stone 7s. Very nice. Sombering Stone 6. Normal Spithing Stone 7. What? <laughs> what? 5. So, but I don't have the 6s. That's, that's tantalizing. So if we get two of those and some sixes, we could get all the way up to 21. That's insane. Two, three, four, five, six. So for those of you carrying the moon veil we just got, that's going to get you all the way to plus six. That's real nice as well. Uh, there is another plus six as well that we can get, so we might as well grab that. I know this is already over time, but um, <clears throat> we're so close, we might as well grab it, and I would rather not miss it as a part of the walkthrough or come back here later. So I feel like this is just going to be a better idea. So I'll have a quick rest here. That loot over there in the corner I missed. <laughs> Aww. That's not what I wanted. It's like, could it be a smithing stone? But no. Right, so we're going to step out here. And we're going to basically take a right and follow it along. Um, there are like a lot of... I say a lot of things. One. One giant magic ball of doom that we're not going to bother interacting with. We're just going to run past it and get another sombering stone six. Simply because it's a good idea to have it in your inventory. So we'll come out this way. No, we're not bothered about you. Whoa, we're not bothered about you. I'm just gonna turn up here. Why can't I summon here? What a strange place to be able to summon. 
Yeah, I'm not bother about all these mines. I'm trying to get blown up. That'd be bad for you. Yeah, I'm not bothered about this big circular sphere orb thing. We're just going to pick up this piece of loot. Oh, it's a five, not a six. Why did I think it was a six? I don't know. We got it anyway. It's, it's a good pickup. And that pretty much closes out this episode. Uh, oh, they've all dropped me some pieces. Look how, how nice of you. That allows us to, uh, to exit the area, which is lovely. Um, most of Caled is now dealt with then, which is kind of good. Um, this southern part, we're really going to leave for its own episode, and we'll probably be when we're getting ready to face for a dawn. There's a secret cave up here that's going to be when we're doing Celia's, Celia's quest line, which is cool. And this upper part is for after we've done Rodan. So, the only realistic thing you might want to take on is the Erdtree Catacombs, but it's full of stuff that I don't really care about, so we'll probably come back for that in a bit as well. Next episode, then, we're going to be going through the Ravine Veiled Village. Hopefully I'll see you all soon for that.